What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy 4th of July to all my American viewers and happy 4th of July to all of my non-American viewers because guess what? July's here. It's, you know, we're in the middle of summer, you can still enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to be testing a Dragalgy team. I know it would be thematically appropriate for me to use something along the lines of Braviary, however, I am Mexican so I would have gone with Halucha anyways. But, Dragalgy, like... <laughs> It's kind of a solid Pokemon. I'm sorry, I'm just laughing about how stupid that joke was. It's, it's a really solid Pokemon right now, and I'm a big fan of it. Uh, we have very few reliable poison types in the format, and I'm really glad that Re <laughs> Realgy, that Dragalgy is one of them. Uh, so I'm going to be using this team. Uh, I will be making this team over the weekend in-game in so I can actually get you guys a QR code for the week, and I can ladder with it. But if you guys are excited for this video, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's try to shoot for 150 today, and... You guys recommended me a lot of really, really good music the other day. I listened to a couple of songs. Some of you guys have some really solid taste, especially that person that recommended me Death Grips. Thank you. <laughs> um, today I'm going to ask you guys to recommend me some like TV shows, because I recently found that uh, once a week I have time to watch TV, so recommend me like something on Netflix or something. Go ahead and comment that. But let me uh, go ahead and explain the team. Weakness Policy Adaptability Dragalgy. So adaptability, it increases your stab uh, to times two instead of 1.5. So when we use Draco Meteor, it's not going to be 130 times 1.5, it's gonna be 130 times two, which is 260 and disgustingly powerful. That also applies to max moves, so it's really strong. Um, I'm gonna be pairing it with this Safety Goggles Bronzong. It's physically defensive. I'll, I'll be editing these spreads uh, at some point to be more, um, I guess, exact. This is just physically defensive because I don't wanna do math at the moment. but. We're gonna be running Trick Room, Bulldoze, Gyro Ball, Hypnosis. Hypnosis, I almost dropped for, um, what is it? I almost dropped for Safeguard. However, I am running Thunderbolt on my Dragalgy, so if I wanna avoid sleep, usually I'm just able to go for Max Lightning. Um, so yeah, I'm just running <laughs> Hypnosis to just mess with people, because Blind Hypnosis is really great as a tool to tilt people, and don't underestimate the power of Blind Hypnosis. It will tilt the hell out of people. It's an evil move, but I, I like it, uh, but yeah. So by pairing it with Bulldoze, um, I'll be able to get a very, very safe, super effective hit off on my Dragalgy, lowering its speed under Trick Room, giving it the weakness policy and making it a huge threat. We're going to be running Assault Vest Rillaboom next to it. This is for a secondary mode of the team where I need to be a little bit faster. Uh, we've got Fake Out U-Turn, Super Power Grassy Glide, Standard Assault Vest Spread, running Life Orb Pre-Marina. It's great under Trick Room next to Dragalgy because it gets the special attack boost off of Max Ooze, and it's generally just a really powerful Pokemon. We've got Incineroar here, my standard spread, Figgy Berry over Safety Goggles because there's a Safety Goggles in the Bronzong, and we're running Focus Sash Dragapult just because it's it's nice for the fast mode of the team. I just, honestly, I almost never go fast mode. I might as well just make this hard trick room, but I enjoy having the option. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, yeah. That is not the right team. I almost hopped in with the wrong team. Dragal GTR. And the paste for this team will be in the description down below if you guys want to try it out. I just realized I spent like three minutes talking about the team before I even got into battles, so my apologies. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like um, we're facing down a team that relies kind of heavily on Tailwind. So they got like Tailwind plus um, Quirigon Z. Actually, what's my ladder right now? I want to know how high I am. 1573, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see if I can ladder a bit today. It shouldn't be too hard to get my Trick Room off if I lead off with um, my faster Incineroar and Bronzong. I'll be able to fake out that um, that Talonflame. I called it a Braviary, I think, by accident. Rillaboom isn't great in this matchup. I think I'm just going to go Dragalgy Primarina, just hard trick room. As they lead off with Clefairy and Porygon Z, which is actually pretty good for me. I don't think Porygon Z is going to be able to knock me out on either of my Mons. I'm pretty sure Bronzong, since it resists the hit, should be able to take it. So I'm just going to attempt this. Um, I'll go for a parting shot on the Porygon Z in a Trick Room. No need to fake out here, they're just going to Dynamax. I'm hoping I can take this hit. It's going to be really, really hard to eat. Hopefully they don't Helping Hand. There's the Helping Hand. Oh god. They Max Darkness. That's fine. That's fine. So I can send in my Primarina here and my Dragalgy. And I think it's in my best interest just to go for a Hyper Voice and then I can Max Ooze into the Clefairy slot. Uh, because he's at minus one special attack, uh, when I Dynamax, I should be able to take whatever hit I need to. But I'm, I'm definitely not in a good position here. And I'm not going to re-record this live if it doesn't go well. I am. <laughs> I will show you guys my losses. I will show you guys every loss I take. There's the Helping Hand. Hopefully it's into Dragalgy. Yes, we eat that. 
Gonna get a nice and powerful Max Ooze off. And Pre Marina is looking very scary to his team. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna hope that he doesn't have a Rillaboom. He probably does. If he doesn't have a Rillaboom though, what I'll do is I'll protect my Dragalge and I'll just go for a Hyper Voice. Or maybe even just a Moonblast into the Porygon Z to knock it out. Basically, I just don't want um, Pre Marina to take a hit. <laughs> Then again, I should be able to take whatever this Porygon Z goes for, because that was a helping handed move, and what did it do? Like, 58? Not 58, um... It did 57. So, without the helping hand, I should survive it. There's the Incineroar. Um, yeah, this should be safe for me to go for a uh, Max Dragon move into the Porygon Z. Do I protect? I might protect, because I think I don't lose anything by going for this unless he doubles into me. So I'll Max Wormwind, and I think it should KO. Hopefully I take this hit. This is going to be really close. There's the fake out. Come on, baby. We just barely hang on. That's beautiful. I should have max used, actually. That would have been really good for me, but I think I can win. Ooh, there's a Rillaboom. I don't like that. Let me, um... I can max guard and get in my Incineroar. And what I have to do here is I have to go for a fake out into either Rillaboom or Incineroar this next turn and hopefully get a Sludge Wave off. I need Primarina to beat the Incineroar in the endgame, I think. Let's see what he goes for. So this turn he goes for the Grassy Glide to the Incineroar and the Darkest Lariat. Um, I'm gonna say that... Let me think. I could go for a Fake Out into the Incineroar slot and try to knock out the Rillaboom here. Because I think if anything attacks my Dragalge, it's gonna be Incineroar. So I'll Fake Out Incineroar and I'll... I'll go for the Sludge Wave. I really don't like clicking this move, because it'll knock out Incineroar. There's the high horsepower. It looks like I made the wrong play, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to salvage what I have. Um, I'll go for this Flare Blitz into the Rillaboom. Hopefully he doesn't have Protect. And if I manage to knock him out, I'm not in a bad spot. As he goes to the Parting Shot, that was really smart. So I need a double to win here. Um, Actually, let me run a Calc. Was he Life Orb? Let me open up a Calc. Damage Calculator, Jig White. We got 30 seconds to make this play. Free Marina. Rillaboom. Grassy Glide isn't on here yet. I just have to go for the double. As I fail. Oh, we live anyways. That's unfortunate, because now it's really hard to beat this Incineroar. <laughs> okay, well that sucks. Uh, or actually, he doubled into me anyways. Uh, I guess I'll just go for the Darkest Lariat. Or, Flare Blitz makes the most sense. I'm going to keep Flare Blitzing, because if I get a crit, I'm not in a bad spot, and I can get down to my berry. I think I just lose, but if I get any crits, you know, I'm good. Do you, like, not have a fire move? I'm hoping he's safety goggles. Like, I just have to keep clicking this. Because he's doing very little to me, and I'm doing very little to him. <laughs> I hate this endgame. I hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here, guys. Alright, suppose it makes no sense for me to be clicking that move. I'll just do Darkest Lariat. Nah, eh, Flare Blitz does more, and I might be able to get a crit. Oh, we get the crit! Is he Barry? Don't be Barry. Oh my god, I think we won. If he's not Barry. It looks like he's not Barry. Yeah, he's not Barry. Let me let me do some math here. So my Flare Blitz is doing how much? Um, he's doing 7%. I'm doing 6%. How much did my Darkest Lariat do? My Darkest Lariat did 2%. So I have to keep Flare Blitzing, and this can be really close because I'm going to be chipping away at myself, but I just barely won that match, as long as no crits happen from this point on. Bro, we won that. Don't crit me. Don't crit me, dude. Come on. <laughs> we just barely snuck in that win. Hey, GG, dude. GG. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm just really happy we managed to sneak that win in, because I wasn't sure how that was going to go. It ended up going really bad when... um. I didn't expect my Premier Unit to live, but they doubled in anyway, so. Alright, um, it looks like we're going against sort of a hybrid Trick Room team. That's Single Strike Urshifu, or actually we don't know. It might be the Water type. In fact, I'm assuming it's Water type, judging by his team composition. Um, I can lead off Dragalge pretty safely here, actually. 
I'm thinking Dragalgy Bronzong isn't awful. Or actually, I want to threaten anything on the lead, and I think the most threatening thing I have versus him on the lead is going to be Primarina. So I can go Primarina Bronzong. I think in the back I'm going to want to bring Incineroar to help me deal with that thing, and Dragalgy. Alright, so this is actually a really solid lead for me. Um, what I can do here is... Do I Dynamax? He's probably just going to follow me. What I'll do here is I'll go for a Moonblast into the Dragapult and switch in the Incineroar. He might be Crit Kiss and Dynamax here, and that'd be really terrifying, but I think he has to Dynamax to knock out... I think he has a Dynamax Bronzong to knock out... <laughs> to Dynamax Dragapult to knock out my Bronzong. I keep, like, fumbling on my words today, and I don't know why. Probably just tired. There's the Ferrothorn. So that's actually a really good play for me. Flamethrower? Ooh, okay, he's got some tech. He's got some tech. Um... Hydro Cannon does a ton to Togekiss, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't think Ferrothorn stays in either. So what I'll do here is I will... I think I'm going to Fake Out and Moonblast into the Togekiss, assuming that they're going to protect or switch out Ferrothorn. Okay, cool. That actually works out really well for me. Okay, never mind. They died Max. So that's a little bit more concerning. <laughs> Max Airstream's going to hurt. Are they Crit Kiss? It doesn't look like it. However, they're making their Trick Room matchup worse right now. So what I'll do here is... How much did that Moonblast do? 31 to 35. So 95, 150. My Hydro Cannon wouldn't knock it out. So I'm just going to Hyper Voice and then I might be able to Hydro Cannon the next turn. And I'll get him Bronzong here. Oh, yeah, they're Crit Kiss. Alright. And what I can do here is... I want them to go for Max Flare into this... Yeah, I want them to go to, for Max Flare into this Bronzong slot. And I think what I can do is I can Dynamax and Max Ooze into Togekiss. I don't know if I take Max Flare from this Togekiss. So I'm going to go Incineroar. Because I want to get rid of Togekiss and then it should be a little bit easier. And they might even give me Weakness Policy on my... Um, on my Dragalgy here. You know, with the Porygon Z Ice Beam. There's the Max Flare, we should be able to take that. Critical hit, get my Barry up. Can fake out the Porygon next turn if I need to, as they double into the slot. They really didn't want that. And that doesn't quite KO, but I'm pretty okay with that, actually. Um, yeah, I can just Max Ooze into Togekiss again. And... I mean, Fake Out would be really good here. I don't know if I need Incineroar to win. I kind of... I think I do. I'll Max Ooze again, and I'll go Hard Bronzong. So they Dazzling Gleam. Nice. They go for the Thunderbolt into the Porygon. Or into the Bronzong slot, which is kind of annoying. But the good news is, they shouldn't have a way of stopping my Trick Room, because Dragapult isn't able to... Um, Dragapult isn't able to one-shot Bronzong unless it's special attacking, and I'm going to say it's physical. So, I'm going to assume they go for, like, Draco Meteor into my Dragalgy here. In fact, I might not even need Trick Room to win. It might be better for me not to Trick Room. So what I'll do here is I'll double into this Dragapult. I'll go for, um, Max Wormwind and Gyro Ball. Yeah, because they're just going to give me Weakness Policy. They crit, which is kind of annoying. And they might even set up my Trick Room for me, which would be funny. Don't you dare freeze me. Okay. And this isn't a terrible position to be in, because what all I really need to do is protect, and I need to put that Porygon Z to sleep. <laughs> if I put that Porygon Z to sleep, I'll be able to go for a, um, I'll be able to go for my Draco Meteor and knock it out. There's the Iron Defense. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's interesting he went for Thunderbolt, though, because that means I can just knock it out. So... Does plus three Sludge Wave do it? I don't think it matters. I don't want to miss, though. I'll Sludge Wave, and I will um, Hypnosis in case it lives. Oh, wait. Hold on. He went for a Thunderbolt that last turn, though. Um, This is actually a really tough call. Because I have to be able to one-shot that Ferrothorn and the sun runs out next turn. Crap. Let me think. Maybe I get an Incineroar here and I go for a Hypnosis. 
Oh, we don't live the ice beam. That's really annoying. I do get my sleep off, but it isn't going to matter. Um, I can go for sludge waves and hope that they don't wake up, and I hypnosis into the ferrothorn. Basically, I need to... I need to somehow, like, crit this, um, Draco Meteor on the Ferrothorn. And I need to land this Hypnosis right now. That doesn't do enough. Body press, yeah, good game. Unfortunate. Alright, let's get another. Yeah, um, as soon as I realized that, that <laughs> Porygon Z would end up being a threat, I'm like, oh, um, now I can't set up Trick Room. Alright, so... Or Porygon Z, Porygon 2, but now we're facing Porygon Z. Let me think. Rillaboom doesn't look bad at all in this matchup, actually. In fact, it's pretty threatening to that Porygon. But also, Dragology can mess up this whole team. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll lead up Bronzong again. Bronzong is like such a solid lead for this team, it's 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 great. Um and I might just go Bronzong Dragalgy. That might be a pretty decent play. I could go Bronzong and Rillaboom. Because it covers a lot more. I'll do Bronzong Rillaboom. In the back, I'll bring Primarina Dragalgy. Okay, that isn't terrible. Because um, I don't think Porygon Z can one shot me. He can follow me the move, but he shouldn't be able to one shot uh, Bronzong without helping hand. So I'll try to trick him up. And I'll fake out into Clefairy. Just to avoid a helping hand or anything. And if he max strikes, all that does is help me out. Oh, well I forgot the order of helping hand. That's my bad. He goes for the max strike. That's perfectly fine. Because now I can actually kind of nae, nae on him. So what I'll do here is I will go for a Bulldoze. I don't think he can one-shot my Dragalgy while I'm Dynamax. It's going to be real close. And I'll go for a Max Ooze into the Clefairy. Alright, interesting. What do he go for? After you, he Max Strikes. Ooh, that is some tech. But now I'm even slower than everything, so nothing on his side of the field is actually a threat. After this point, because I can just one-shot it with Dragalgy. Those max strikes are really helping me. There's the Mudsdale. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll just go for a max Wormwind into the Mudsdale, and I'll go for a Hypnosis in the Porygon Z. Or actually, no, I shouldn't max Wormwind into that. I should max Wormwind. Here, I'll go for Hypnosis into Mudsdale, and I'll max Wormwind into Porygon Z, because it should KO. And we do pick up KO, which is really nice. Because now he doesn't really have anything on his side of the field that wants to deal with um, Primarina. I mean, Rillaboom's here, but Rillaboom's about to go... He's about to go bye-bye. So we'll Hypnosis, and we'll go for a Max Ooze. Grassy Glide's gonna do like two. Beautiful. Alright, GG. And we go for a Hypnosis. <laughs> Just keep clicking Blind Hypnosis. We'll get one more battle for this video, guys. We'll get one more. Oh, by the way, I forgot to shout him out. The beats in this video are by Mr. Legitimacy. The music you're hearing. Check him out on SoundCloud. I'll link him in the description, by the way. Mr. Legitimacy on SoundCloud, though. He's made these beats. Alright, um, it looks like we're facing Sableye Lapras offense, which is kind of weird. I don't, you don't really see Sableye and Lapras next to each other. I'm assuming maybe Sableye has, like, Rain Dance or something. I I'm not certain. Maybe it's Sunny Day to help out the, uh, the Venusaur. A Taunt would be very annoying. I'll give him that. In the lead, I'm going to bring Rillaboom. And Bronzong, probably. Because this team doesn't do well versus Dragalgy if I get my Trick Room up. Yeah. So Rillaboom, Bronzong, in the lead isn't bad. And I'm thinking my last mons are going to have to be... Or actually... Mm, do I go Incineroar, Bronzong? Because I can Parting Shot on whatever I need. Because I feel like they're just going to taunt me. We'll, we'll do Rillaboom, Bronzong. It just feels nice. Uh, and then we'll go... Dragalgy Pure Marina. <clears throat> okay, there's the Sableye. I'm gonna say the Sableye wants to... I mean, it's kind of a 50-50. If the Sableye wants to burn Rillaboom, he has to go for it. Um, but he could also try to taunt the Bronzong. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that he's not gonna taunt this Bronzong. 
Yeah, Trick Room. And I'll just go for a hard U-turn on the Lapras. Do I want a U-turn? Maybe, maybe I just take the hit. I don't know. We'll U-turn. As he goes for the Will-O-Wisp, that's fine. U-turn. Trick Room. Um, I don't want to take this hit with my Dragalge. So I'll go in Primarina. Here's the G-Max Resonance. Alright. And now what I can do is I can Bulldoze and go hard Dragalge. Like, as soon as I Dynamax, I'm not concerned about G-Max Resonance. And they should be going for a water move. That is really annoying. That is really annoying. What did I just get? A full Incense? What does a full Incense do? Does it just make me slower? We was last in priority bracket. You suck, dude. I hate you. <laughs> I think I hate you, dude. Alright, check it. Hypnosis the Lapras switch in Rillaboom. Alright. Well, that's annoying. At least we stalled out his Dynamax and I still have mine. But it's probably going to have to be Primarino, which sucks. Um, we'll get in Dragalge here. And I will just go for a... I'll just Grassy Glide into save a lot, because I'm not, I'm not about to give this man his his weakness policy that we all know he has. Yeah, full incense. That's a little bit annoying. Get a bit of damage off. Not much. Foul plays. Um, and now I'm not in a terrible position, actually. I could actually still Dynamax Dragalge. But it's looking like Premier. Ah, eh, Dragalge's probably better. Dragalge's probably better. I'll go for a Max Ooze into the Lapras, and uh, we'll also Moonblast here. Because I want to get rid of Lapras. Sableye isn't annoying. At least not at this point when my last Pokemon are Bronzong, Primarina, you know? And we still have three turns of Grassy Terrain, so if Excadrill comes in, it isn't terrible. Unfortunately, we don't get our weakness policy. <laughs> get some pretty powerful hits off there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Let me think, how much did he do that last turn? Ice Beam did 32% and Foul Play did 13. So I'm going to go ahead and Max Guard here. And I'm going to Moonblast into Lapras again. Or I guess I didn't even have to Max Guard. <laughs> I got a bit I got a bit of health back, which is nice. Excadrill comes in. Um he should be targeting down the Dragalge, if anything. So what I can do is I can hyper voice and go for Max Wormwind. That's fine. Bronzong. Alright. So this is kind of a tough one. I'm really hoping that it's Venusaur in the back, because then I can beat it. If it's Venusaur in the back. Yes, we won. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a Gyro Ball into the Sableye. Venusaur shouldn't have any moves to hit us. So what I'll do here is I'll just Sludge Wave Gyro Ball. We need to get rid of Sableye to win. Earth Power. Ooh, Sableye just barely hung on. That Foul Play did so much. Tell me you don't have any moves to hit this. I don't think he does. He's probably going to go for Sleep Powder. So if I survive this turn, I should be able to win. Oh! Oh, he has Giga Drain, but I think we're still good. I kind of have to land a Hypnosis. Oh, we missed. I might have lost. I have to go for Hypnosis to win now. I, I definitely have to now. Why does that do so much? There we go. All right, this is going to be really close. Gyro Ball, I need you to be asleep all of these turns. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> that was so dumb of me. I should have just gone for the Gyro Balls. I would have been able to win. Because now he wakes up this next turn and, and beats me with, um... How much did that do? Was, is it a roll? 16%? Please be a roll. Yeah, good game. GG. Unfortunate, I made a pretty stupid play there, but... I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I think this team is pretty solid, to be honest. I have to make some adjustments. Like, I actually need to give some special defensive investment to this Bronzong, make it specific. Um, make this Dragalge a little bit more specific. The rest of the team is pretty much done, though, to be honest. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the team in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.